What's going on guys, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to be showing off a build your own tablet kit designed to teach you about coding in computers. This kit is made by Kano, and they were actually nice enough to sponsor this video, and even though this video is sponsored, all opinions expressed are my own. So basically what this thing is, is a kit that includes all the parts you need to have a fully functional computer, along with an operating system designed to take you from beginner to coder, and allowing you to have a lot of fun along the way. The first thing to do when you get this kit is assemble the tablet. The the unboxing experience on this kit is really nice with a magnetized flip up opening and closed cell foam to protect each of the parts. The first thing you find when opening up the kit is some documents and stickers along with the how to make a tablet booklet. Then lifting up the top sheet of foam we start to see some of the parts. Included in this kit is a Raspberry Pi 3, a memory card loaded with Kano OS, a battery for portable use, a 10.1 inch HD touchscreen, a sound sensor, a USB hub, a case, a wireless keyboard, all the wires to connect everything together, and much, much more. So as you can see, this kit comes with a lot of stuff, and Kano makes sure you have everything you need to be up and running in no time. Once I had all the parts out of the box, it was time for assembly. This is where the Make a Tablet booklet comes into play. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble the kit, and not only does it tell you how to put it together, it also gives you some cursory information on what each of the parts does and how it works. The process of building the kit is very straightforward forward and very fun to do. Kano put a lot of thought into this kit and how to make it a great experience to put together. Everything's color coded, all the instructions are clear and easy to understand, and the attention to detail and stuff like the cable management is what makes me like this kit a lot. Assembly of this kit starts with the Raspberry Pi 3. For those of you who don't know, this little guy is an entire computer on a single board with a quad-core CPU, integrated graphics, and a host of other features making it perfect for DIY projects like this one. The Raspberry Pi along with all the other parts connect together with a toolless design which is nice because it's easy to put together and take apart while also staying surprisingly sturdy. All the componentry connects to the back of this 10 inch HD touchscreen. This touchscreen's one of the coolest parts in my opinion as it's compact, runs off of USB power, supports full size HDMI, and has touch support out of the box. You attach the cable management block, the speaker, the USB hub, the battery, and the button to the back of the monitor. While you're connecting these pieces, Kano has you put them together in an order as to have really clean cable routing, which makes the end product look as much like a piece of art as it does a piece of technology. Once everything's wired up, you close it up in the see-through acrylic case and are ready to boot. During the assembly process, you insert an SD card into the Raspberry Pi, which actually has a pre-installed copy of Kano OS, a Linux distribution designed by Kano to work seamlessly with this kit and teach you how to code in many fun ways. When you first start up the tablet, you learn about the different input and outputs including audio in and out, mouse slash keyboard, touch, and some other basic things about coding. Once you finish the intro and set up your device, you're greeted by Kano OS, which both has a ton of ways to learn how to code, and also most everything else you find on a normal computer, like a browser and word processor. Inside of Kano OS, there are 150 plus hours of content and endless ways to spend time. One of the first things you find is Story Mode, which is a game that teaches you about the parts of the computer and how they work. The story mode has quests, mini games, and is a fun way to learn about the inner workings of this computer. In terms of ways to learn coding, there are so many options. Whether you like gaming or music or art, there's tutorials and applications designed to show you how coding can be translated into those different mediums. One great example of this is an application called Hack Minecraft, which is Minecraft with a hacking add-on built in. It teaches you how to manipulate the world of Minecraft using code, then allows you to see and play with what you create. This to me was super cool and definitely sparked some interest, and when I have time, I'll try and do all the tutorials inside of Hack Minecraft. Using this kit and the software, you'll start with code blocks, but can work your way up to coding with industry standard programming languages like JavaScript and Python. There are also a lot of community projects you can check out and even help create, which like I said before, makes the possibilities endless. Beyond just learning to code, this computer does pretty much everything any other computer can, like browsing the web, send emails, chat with friends, and type up documents. There's even a desktop mode where you can access the file system, which may be better for some with a keyboard and mouse, but you can easily switch back and forth between tablet and desktop mode with the press of a button. 
I really like this kit as it all works together so well and makes the end user experience really great. From unboxing to assembly to coding to playing, the Kano Computer Kit Touch offers a great experience to anyone wanting to learn about coding and computers. Overall, for $200, I think you're getting a pretty good value with this kit as it comes with so many parts and offers a truly seamless experience. I could picture this being a really great gift for anyone who's wanting to learn about computers and coding. So if you think this Kano Kit is cool, you can go out and get one. I'll have links to where you can buy this kit along with a link to the Kano website site where you can learn more about this kit along with Kano's other cool products. Again, thank you to Kano for sponsoring this video. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.